So, what would you say your favourite Christmas song is? Um, I mean, like I said earlier, probably not like the best advocate for Christmas songs. Um, I would probably go with. I don't know. Probably gonna have to edit a lot of this time out because I'm gonna have to think. <laughs> So well, I'll yeah. start off then. I would yeah. go so like Band Aid is one that I think's brilliant, just for the yeah. message that it brings to <clears> Christmas, <throat> and especially if you've got younger children in the family, or maybe like in early teens, late you know, eight, nine, ten sort of time. Yeah. To play them that song and make them realise that they're quite lucky <laughs> for what they have. Yeah. That song does that at Christmas, and it does it in such a good way. And the music video is really good, obviously. Loads of people involved. It was all for charity, blah, blah, blah. I think that that's a standout one. But I think Merry Christmas, everyone, has got to be mine. Yeah. like, snow is falling. Mm. It's just kind of got to get you in that little, yeah. like, uh, maybe I wish it could be Christmas every day. Yeah, see, I was thinking that. Like, that's the, the when you said, the first one that come up was, I wish it could be Christmas every day. However, yeah. the actual message behind it, <laughs> I don't agree with. So I didn't really want to say it's my favourite song. But as a song. But, yeah. It's good. But I think anything that's like, like you say, the, you know, high tempo, you yeah. go in, you can listen to it. Instead of like, Merry Christmas, Christmas time. time. Mistletoe and wine. And it's just like, yeah. oh, so slow. Like, if you're sat with a fire... Mould wine or beer in hand, whatever. Yeah. Stuffed after a Christmas turkey or whatever, like fine, because you're just monging out. See, there's but one... like if you're actually trying to enjoy Christmas, it's just like yeah, it's got to be for me. It's got to be upbeat. So like one song that I think everyone can kind of relate to, and it is quite a slow Christmas song, but everyone works leading up to Christmas. Mm. Usually does overtime <clears> because <throat> you either want the money. Or you just need to get your jobs done so that you can have a Christmas break yeah, properly. Yeah. When that break comes and you put on driving home for Christmas, yeah. on your drive home, yeah. that's a banger. Ideal. And I'm driving down like country lanes yeah, for yeah. my job and I've got driving home for Christmas on and I yeah. love it. But I don't listen to that song until that day. So for me, that'll be uh, 23rd of December this year. Right. At about 10 o'clock at night, I'll be driving home with that song yeah, on. Yeah, see, I work That'd on Christmas bliss. Eve this year. Yeah. So if I was to do the same, it would be, well, Christmas it's probably Eve not going to be a full day. No. It's probably, it'd be like 2 o'clock on Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, uh, you know, so we talked about Mar- Mariah Carey earlier. Yeah. He obviously, like, taking advantage, done well. Michael Bublé as well. <laughs> he is absolutely now. Michael Bublé, who bought out a Christmas album and then realised... Wait, I, I just only, do this every year. I only have to work once yeah. a year. All right, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> just crack Sweet. out Christmas songs. Just Woo. talk about turkey and wine and stuff. And yeah, like days. I mean, yeah, I, I, them well, yeah. I appreciate Mariah Carey more than Michael Bublé, probably. But I would prefer not, not to listen to either. True. Well, actually, uh, you know, there's uh, there's a couple of Bublés I don't mind. Yeah, in a Bublé, I'm not, not going to try and sell it to anyone. <laughs>